It's summertime. Sun's shining. You pour yourself a nice refreshing glass of your favorite drink. And wait for that first whiff of fresh cut grass. But this time, we're gonna cut using the power of SolidWorks Cam. Every time I start up my mower, I ask myself, is this the best way I can do this? I know many people appreciate the aesthetic of a nicely cut patterned lawn, but my focus right now is speed and efficiency, however that can be accomplished. Join me over the next few minutes as I use SolidWorks and SolidWorks Cam to model up my yard put my tool into the tool crib and run a cam program to give me the most effective cutting path for my parameters. To get things accurate, I went to work tracing out the yard, walking the distances and recording all dimensions. I fired up SolidWorks and went about transferring all of my hand sketched information into a physical layout that could be cut. Using curve data from a survey, I'm able to define curves in my sketches and use path lengths to ensure linear length is accurate. With the sketch finished, I want to extrude the layout in a way that represents my yard by extruding the grass in one extrude and the sidewalks and driveway in another. There's no better way to paint a picture than with accurate appearances. Once applied, I want to scale them down to size and get as realistic of a representation as I can. Making a couple of alterations to the extrusion of my part I'm now going to load my K-module and get to work analyzing the cut paths. At my house, I have a 42 inch bed right on mower. It has only a certain turn radius requiring the need for me to really dial in tool's ability to simulate the route. And for spaces I can't reach, I'll need a tighter tool, like my weed whacker. New tools or current tool specifications are always found in the robust technology database. From here, I can ensure my tool's speed or feed are accurate and set defaults to be used for designated uses like rough cut or finishing. With my mower set up, I can begin to simulate the tool path or step through it and make any changes that I believe may be required. With cam right on my feature tree, making these alterations is a breeze. Next year, I'm planning to build a shed and maybe upgrade our deck. What is that going to do to my cutting path? The beauty of SolidWorks Cam is its ability to adapt to changes made to the model and quickly update toolpaths for output. In trying to identify the fastest cut path, I can tap into SolidWorks Cam's various cutting methods to see which produces the best time. With Cam Professional, I can even tap into Volumill, which provides a high speed continuous motion to increase machine output. With SolidWorks Cam's ability to quickly run variances on tooling, I want to gauge how a new mower might benefit me. Bumping myself up to a high performance 60 inch bed zero turn mower will provide me with the most flexibility in cutting paths. And with SolidWorks Cam's analysis, I can reduce my time even further. SolidWorks Cam's ability to recognize, analyze, and produce tool paths for two and a half or three plus two machining is a perfect addition to the robust modeling capabilities inside of SolidWorks, no matter the industry even yard maintenance. For any questions, or to find the most efficient way to cut, visit our website, or give us a call, and one of our technical experts will be happy to find the exact solution for you. Until next year.